Bonjour, uh, je suis Uma Maheshwari, uh, je suis une, une historienne et journaliste indépendante en Inde. Uh, ça fait cinq mois que j'habite ici à Nantes, du bord de IEA, uh, l'Institut d'études avancées de Nantes. Uh, J'espérais écrire un livre sur la critique l'imaginaire écologique et culturel euh, construit par euh, nation indienne. Uh, my book, the fourth one, hopefully, which I am trying to develop here, uh, takes off from two of my earlier books, uh, which was on the Tamil Jaina community history in Tamil Nadu and on the Godavari River uh, in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, uh, where I looked at, respectively, uh, the ideas of community histories uh, and marginalization and people's ideas about nature and landscapes as against uh, the construction of a hegemonic state idea of the same. Some of the questions that I will look at in my present book include uh, production of knowledge and ideas of knowledge world over. Uh, how are ideas of landscape and ideas of history constructed by people as against construction of the same by a dominant hegemonic state? How I look at this book is that I construct it in the form of journeys that I have had from late 1990s to the present across regions, landscapes, cultures, languages, and across histories of people. I locate this book in the present contemporary political context of India, where efforts are being made by the state to construct a singular cultural historical identity for the whole nation including ideas such as the yoga day, for instance, or recitation of Sanskrit Hindu prayers before official government functions, as well as academic seminars and institutions. It also includes lynching and killing of minorities and the Dalits, uh, also constructing the idea of a dominant food culture, including ban on beef. On the other hand, there are ideas of economy, the dominant economy being that of digitization, urbanism, which is destroying several ecosystems across the country. And on the other hand, you have another kind of imaginary which is being imposed through the interlinking of rivers, which includes interlinking of the Himalayan rivers with, in the north to the peninsular rivers in the south. So I am trying to understand is there, how do I make sense of this vast canvas as a historian? This is one of the things that I am currently working on.